Now, we know the number one or central problem of the collar drag is predictability. You get those grips, it's kind of obvious what's coming next. So we're always looking to uh, create distraction, disguise our intention, or work so quickly that my opponent doesn't have sufficient reaction time to defend. A great way for us to use movement to disguise our intent is where he takes a strong grip, I come through and I get my own grip. Okay. As we dance around with each other, we put our second hand on, hands up, we've got plenty of grips. I just come in and I put my cross grip in place. Now I'm going to set my stance, I push with my cross grip, push on his sleeve cuff, and I pop the grip off. Okay. I'm standing right-handed, my right foot's forward. So I'm going to switch my stance and I'm going to pull him in behind me. As he starts to circle around to face me, I step to the angle. And as you probably guess from this position, my foot goes across. We've got a nice little wise or collar drag. I put weight on my opponent's head, foot comes in, the leg comes up, thigh pry in, and we're in business behind our opponent, ready to attack. So once again, my training partner starts in front of me. We're playing the game up top. My hand comes in, I pop the grip off. Now, I switch my stance. I step and pull, okay? Off that initial pull, he goes to recover the position. I step so our three feet are in a straight line. My foot goes through to the far foot, and there's the drag. Now my uh, forward rock comes up, my hips higher than his hips. Hand goes in as a thigh pry, and we're behind our opponent and ready to attack. Simple way for us to use movement to cause distraction and get around the problem of predictability.